Hi, welcome to this Excel and Python tutorial. David is my name. In this tutorial, I'm going to show us how to enter data in an Excel workbook from Python. Therefore, let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to do is to install Python and PyCharm on your laptop or your system. And thereafter, we need to install a Python package called OpenPy Excel. Now, the OpenPy Excel allows us to read and write into an Excel spreadsheet from version 2010 to the latest version. Now, let's see how to install the OpenPy Excel. You can actually come to pyp.org and type in OpenPy Excel and you click enter so we have open by excel 3.0.9 you can actually see the project description so all we need is to just copy this pip install open by excel then you can actually go to your command prompt or your python pycharm terminal so let's go to the terminal now this is the terminal just you know come here and paste or just type in pip install um open Py Excel and you click enter so it will automatically be installed on your PyCharm. So you can actually see that I have installed it so we can see the requirements already satisfied. Now let's come to our code editor. So the first thing I need is to type in from OpenPy and I want to import workbook and also load. So now this is what I need as the starting value. So next I'm going to say wk which represents our workbook equals to load i want to load this workbook now let's actually open this data entry dot excel sx and let's see the contents now we have this workbook okay data entry and you can actually see that it's empty and we have sheet one as the default sheet name so this is the workbook we want to enter data okay from python so i'm going to close this because it is very important now inside the bracket we need the file name and the extension which is going to be single quotes just type in data entry and this actually gave us the option to select from just press the tab key okay now next we need ws which represent workbook equals to wk.active and now let's say we want to alter the sheet one we want to replace the sheet name from sheet one to let's say sys data i'm just going to type ws.title ws.title and inside double quotes i'm going to call down sales data so that's going to replace the sheet one from the you know workbook and let's enter the data i'm going to say ws dot append so i need to append now we need square brackets and let's say we want date sales rep um product unit and price columns so i'm going to do that so i'm going to call this one date we need another comma inside you know single quote we need sales rep column comma we also need the uh, products okay comma we also need the unit column and finally excuse me comma we need the price okay let's check i think this is actually prompting us to something okay all right so I'm going to copy this, you know, to speed things up. Okay, so I'm going to say Control C and let's paste here. Okay, now I think there's something we need to fix it. Let me just, you know, fix this section. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call this on products. Okay, comma, and we want the units. And finally, we want the price. The price column. And then we can close off the square bracket and the parentheses. Now everything is looking fine. So let me just delete this because it's actually showing a sign of error. So I'm going to copy this. Control V, Control C, Control V, and let's paste twice. Now let's give you know date. Let's apportion you know value to this our date sales rep product unit and price. So I'm going to call this one zero first of February 2021. I'm going to call the sales rep name as okay. As Abiola David, and for the product, let's just call this one, you know, laptop. And for the units, now I actually want it to be, you know, a number, so I'm just going to type in five without, you know, double quote, okay. And for the price, let's call this one 500, okay. Now, the second one, oh, let's call this one, is zero one, all right. And for this date, let's make this one to be on the 5th of June. 
2021 and let's call the sysrep name um donald donald smith and let's call this product tv set and for the unit i'm going to just give um let's say we are we sold 20 units and the price for each one of them is um let's say 650. now this is the data this is the piece of code that will enter each of these column that we have specified using ws.append now what i'm going to do now is to save this workbook in order to be able to run the code and have the data entered in our data entry so for that i'm going to just say wk.save that is i'm going to save this workbook which we actually define with this wk so i need the extension also so it's going to be data entry dot excel sx and this is the piece of code that we need now let's go ahead and run this code so i'm going to click on this run button okay now you can actually see that there is no error return process finish with exit code zero now that's all let's just open this excel data workbook data entry absolutely cool so you can actually see that the data were entered you know perfectly into this excel you know workbook so you can actually see the date first of february 2021 abela david the sys rep name and the product laptop five units 500 as the price and the second one 5th of june 2021 do not submit tv as the product 20 units sold and the price is 650 per unit so this is essentially how we write you know, a simple code that enters data in an excel workbook from python I hope you enjoyed this video if you do give some like share comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so because there's a lot to come from excel and python thank you and bye for now